Hi there. Thanks for uh, being here at the Nisha Jackson Show. Uh, we're here just a couple of minutes early. Uh, let me explain why. First of all, hi, I'm Rusty. Um, anyway, um, one of the things I love about the Nisha Jackson Show is that we really tell you what's going on. Good days, bad days, why I'm not losing weight, Nisha getting Botox, whatever it is. Uh, we're pretty honest with you. And Honestly, I've been looking forward to this show for a couple of years because two of my favorite people on one show, Nisha Jackson and Suzanne Summers. So a little nervous about it because part of my job is to make sure that everything goes perfect. And in all honesty, this show did not go perfect. It wasn't Nisha's fault. It wasn't Suzanne's fault, and I grew up with the uh, phrase, a poor workman blames his tools. So, as much as I want to blame Zoom, and it was Zoom's fault, but it's my fault. So, basically, they couldn't hear each other very well, and so it might seem a little bit awkward. I'm just telling you so that you know what happened. It's a great show, though. You don't want to miss it. Let's just get right to it. Enough of my jabbering. And here we go. The Nisha Jackson Show, starring Nisha Jackson and featuring Suzanne Summers. All right, welcome to the Nisha Jackson Show. Now, I'm not going to talk much because, let me just say, if you were all stranded on a desert island and you never were going to see anybody else for the rest of your life, you'd want to be with these two people. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> if you hung out with these two people, you'd eat great, you'd live forever, at least 120 years, and you'd laugh all day long. My two pe my two favorite people and women on the planet, other than my daughters, Nisha Jackson and Suzanne Summers. Ladies, what a pleasure it is to have you both on the show. Hey, Rusty. Uh, yeah. I remember when I used to regularly appear on your radio show, well, appear by voice, and um uh, you said you never want to talk about hormones again. <laughs> <laughs> and now that's all you talk about, and you've made a whole career on that. I know, I know. I'm just ahead of my time. Hello, Nisha. I'm so excited that you're here on the show today, Suzanne. I'm, I'm anxious to talk about your new book and about this gut renew because I was just telling Rusty the other day, I'm looking for a new gut program for our medical clinics here in Oregon. So I'm super excited to talk to you about that. Uh, but first, I want to talk about your new book that you have out. So maybe just give a couple little blurbs about your new book and what inspired you to write this one. Hello, Nisha, and thank you for asking. Yeah. Uh, my most recent book is called A New Way to Age, because there is a new way to age. And it became very clear to me that aging is simply about worn out parts. And that with the kind of sophistication today, um, through lab work, through testing, you can you can assess each individual's, and everybody's needs are different, uh, uh, deficiencies. We become deficient in hormones, as you know. We become deficient in minerals, in nutrients, uh, and uh, various other things. So uh, it becomes quite simple to put Humpty Dumpty back together again, if you find the right doctor. If you find a doctor who has not stepped out of the allopathic box uh, in which they were trained, and with all due respect, I understand that because you're in school for a long, long time. But in today's world, it requires um, going uh, in a new direction, like we've all had to do. Um, when you're with a qualified doctor, they understand how to put you back together again if you uh, are open to doing the kind of lab work. So uh, it's a very exciting time. Uh, Technology has figured out how to extend our life, as in yes. life extension. Right. What I write about and what I presume that you talk about is the quality of life in this life extension. And I believe, uh, you know, Rest, Rusty was joking. I always say I'm going to live to 120 and then I'll negotiate. But I believe <laughs> that I can live that long with juice, with energy, with my brain intact. I eat right. I eat organic food only only. That's like a, an absolute with me. I'm very careful about what I put in my body and I replace all my deficiencies. And I feel, I feel as great as I did in my forties and fifties. I'm 74 now and I'm loving my age because I'm not all pilled up and um, my, I'm able to access my wisdom and wisdom, as you know, 
is the one thing that young people cannot buy or have. You have to earn it. But most people reach the stage of their life when the wisdom would be pouring and then they get all pilled up on allopathic medicine and then they can't think and they can't access it. Uh, so um, it's a really ex exciting time. Yes, it is. I know we, we practice this in all of our clinics here in Oregon. I'd love to have our clinics in every state in the United States because I think this type of medicine is so important. And yeah. people don't know, people don't know and, and treating them individually and providing a treatment plan for them that's based on their needs, not yeah. just, not just standard, standard doses or standard uh, programs. It's just such an exciting time to be able to reverse illness and, and pick, pick people up that are on a sick path and move them to a wellness path. It's, it's incredible and so rewarding from a medical standpoint too. So I love that you've written that book. So I'm dying to talk about this gut renew because I believe, as you believe too, our health starts in our gut. Yeah. So it's really difficult to reverse illnesses. And I take my lead from my constituency. I hold three Facebook live shows a week and they come in droves. And then I read their comments. The gut comes up over and over and over. They're constipated, they're bloated, they're dog tired. That's a real giveaway, dog tired. And it's very clear to me that again, worn out parts, our intestines are part of that paradigm. Our intestines um, start having to work so hard from such a backup of, of sludge inside us that it, it eventually tries to work its way through, but then we get twisted intestines. So now nothing will go through. And we started thinking about it, our company of how could you seal up the leaks? You right. know, uh, the GI tract is the length of a tennis court, as you know. And when the chemicals come in through skincare that's uh, got uh, chemicals in it or food sprayed with poison, who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> or pesticides or spraying or cleaning your house with chemicals. I do none of that. I, I, I think my life depends upon it because I've had cancer a few times and I live as clean as clean can be. But I realize that when the chemicals end up in the GI tract, they eat through that barrier wall causing leaks. That's that leaky gut everybody talks about. And then it leaks out into the bloodstream and then those little bad guys go on a rampage looking for the fattiest organs and glands, the brain being the fattiest. And Nisha, look at the epidemic of dementia, of Alzheimer's, and then the epidemic in the young people of ADD, ADHD, um, dyslexia, dyspraxia, OCD, the kids are now bragging about their initials. I've got ADD and OCD, proudly. This is wrong. And where is that going to go, Nisha? How, how did you come across this particular program? Because one of the things I love about this particular program is that you have a prebiotic, which most people don't even know what that is. Right. So right. Let's, let's talk about the different parts of your so program. Pre prebiotic, for those who don't know, is simply food for the probiotic, i.e. making the probiotic work better. So you take, uh, we make a prebiotic that's like a lozenge because people get sick of taking so many pills. And then when my granddaughter um, who had ADD, OCD, uh, ADHD, uh, and then had Lyme disease, it, it was a, a foursome blow that just knocked her off her feet. She was in her third year of high school and had to leave high school and go to a clinic in Florida for a year, a year. Wow. And during that time, I started paying attention to what they were giving her to seal up the leaks. And that's essentially what we've got in the uh, Gut Renew Smoothie Powder. I like, I like to speak in what I call Suzanne speak. Um, this smoothie, and I'll tell you what's in it in a minute, essentially works this, you know, I'm simplifying it like spackle. All these ingredients here seal up the leaks in the GI tract so the little bad chemical guys can't get into the bloodstream. And then it has a clean out kind of effect. People are saying they have been losing weight like crazy, but I didn't design it as a weight loss product. I designed it to uh, heal the gut and get your gut working correctly. And uh, we have the 30 day gut renew challenge. 
and we uh, ask people to give that a try, which is one smoothie in the morning, one smoothie in the afternoon, and then for dinner, just eat clean, no alcohol, no dairy at dinner for a month, just for a month. Right. And um, the, the response has been phenomenal. People have said, my gut's been uh, distended and, and dog tired, and all of a sudden my body's working again. And when you have a well-working gut, A, your brain works better because the, the little guys are not leaking out into the bloodstream, getting up to the brain. And I don't think people realize when the, the uh, chemicals get in the brain, the, the hypothalamus and the pituitary have to shrink to make room for the chemicals. The more chemicals you take in, the more the brain has to shrink. And I'm no doctor, you are, but maybe this makes as much sense to you as it does to me that... Um, that's where the brain issues are coming from, from everyone. Wouldn't it be interesting if we really realized being under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity, that if we were able to totally clean out our bodies, that our brain issues, ADD, ADHD, OCD, uh, ADD, dyslexia, dyspraxia, dementia, Alzheimer's, that could dissipate and disappear. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Sorry, I'm excited right. about this about smoothie. Your... It's got um, uh, things in it that I know that none of us listening right now had today. Um, did you have um, chlor chlorella or spirulina or young alfalfa sprouts or barley grass or wheatgrass right. or yeah. organic plant-based proteins or gut enzymes? And I mean, it just goes on all the things, uh, marshmallow root for healing, um, astralagus is in there. There's so many great things in there. And the, the greatest thing of all is the smoothie is delicious. I took take two spoon, spoons in the morning in the blender. I put some frozen peaches or frozen mangoes or both or raspberries or whatever I'm in the mood for. Pour in coconut milk. I put a little bit of yogurt. And for me, because I uh, had surgery on my neck and back earlier this year, I added a little cream because I was actually trying to gain weight. I've now gained the weight. I have to stop with the cream, but it was kind of good. And <laughs> we have had this smoothie, my husband and I, every morning, for the last year, because we like the way it tastes, but at the same time, notice that our stomachs are flat and that we're not constipated and that we're not dog tired. So it really works. And the other thing that we devised this year because of what's going on in the world is an immune support powder that I add to the smoothie. It's zinc and vitamin C and a few other things. That's great. So tell, tell us, tell us a little bit about the prebiotic. Cause that, is that a separate tablet that you chew each day, the prebiotic? Well, um, Nisha, the prebiotic is in the smoothie powder. Okay. Now on my website, SuzanneSommers.com, you can get probiotic. And we have a unique probiotic that has dual encapsulation, meaning, and you know, I'm always surprised when I talk to my constituency, everybody thinks this is their stomach, the intestines. The stomach is under the, the left breast. And so the, the, the probiotic has got to go through the gastric sphincter here, take a left-hand turn, get into the stomach. Then once it gets in the stomach, the stomach acid starts dissolving the probiotic, and then it has to make another right-hand turn into the intestines if there's anything left. So what we did was this dual encapsulation that when it gets into the stomach, uh, the acid dissolves the part that's not the probiotic and then the probiotic gets into the um, intestines. But if you take the prebiotic, I know it gets confusing beforehand, it works as food for the probiotic. So the prebiotics is waiting in the small intestines. And when the probiotic finally emerges, the probiotic, the prebiotic goes, Hey, I've been waiting for you here. I'm going to juice you up and make you work better. Right. So again, I speak very yeah. simply, but, um, that is how it works. So tell me some of the stories that you've, you've heard from people that have tried this for 30 days. Cause I, I think people are understanding and learning more. People are becoming advocates of their own health and they're learning more about how to take care of themselves. And the gut is a really big topic right now for people. So maybe just share just a couple of stories of people that have been suffering and, and they had a turnaround in their health by doing this challenge for 30 days, which I think I'm gonna try. Rusty, I'm gonna make you do it with me. I'll be happy to send some to you. <laughs> I'd be happy to supply your clinics with it. I think it's one of the greatest products out there. And I, I say that with all sincerity. See, you're a unique kind of doctor because you understand the gut. 
I have to tell you, this is not a priority in med, med school, according to doctors that I interview. Um, there are so many doctors treating the gut that don't understand the gut, and you have to factor in today the environmental assault. When I was a kid, and that makes me sound like an old fart, but I guess at 74 I am. But by the way, at 74, I never thought I'd love being 74. I love it. I like the way I look. I like the way I feel. I've got my sex drive. I've got good hair. I, I, I mean, it's really the, the, the whole paradigm is changing about aging. And I, when I turned 65, I remember thinking, I'm going to make my age the age everybody wants to be because I'm liking it. I have this uh, bet I've made with myself that on my 80th birthday, I'm gonna open another showroom in Las Vegas because I love performing and I've got the energy and I just think it would be a wonderful story and inspiring to all of us baby boomers who um, thought that it was over and I'm here to say it ain't over. Okay, the stories that people have been telling me are phenomenal. They've gone to doctor after doctor after doctor, and they, they put them on all this medicine and the medicine just slows things down even more. And uh, I think chronic constipation, in my estimation as a non-doctor, as just a, a writer of this uh, information, it, it cannot end up anywhere good. How does a body filled with putrid waste survive for very long? And there's always a story about John Wayne when he died that they, they removed 40 pounds of waste out of him. Imagine how constipated that man was. And by the way, I was the last person to ever work with John Wayne and he was certainly dear and certainly sweet, but he did move kind of slow, but I just figured it was old age. You don't have to move slow just because you're old anymore. Uh, right. You know, we have CoQ10 to, uh, 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 it's like a rip cord for the uh, mitochondria in your cells to give your energy back. We have so many things happening now, but it's story after story, Nisha, of people who gave up and decided, all right, I'll try this gut renew. What is it? You know, it's you can buy one package or you can buy six and do the whole 30 day challenge. And um, the, um, the results, according to them, have been amazing, remarkable. Haven't felt this good in years. I now have my husband on, I have my daughter on it. It's an ageless product because the young kids are just as backed up as the old people who you expect to uh, have constipation because they're eating food that's been sprayed with poison, who thought that was a good idea, and pesticides, and genetically modified food. So now that creates a, 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 an insecticide factory in your GI tract. How, and the body can't, you know, the GI tract is from the mouth to the anus. How can you expect to live long and live healthy without that flow? Life is a flow. It's got to flow through you and out of you. So um, I could, I, I mean, the, the, the comments we've had are by the hundreds of thousands. It's, it's, you know it's been a remarkable, remarkable uh, achievement for them and for us as a little company. We're a little company. Well, if you think about the incidence of irritable bowel syndrome, you see a, a, a chronic constipation, um, esophageal reflux. If you think about all the things that happen in the gut, that's completely, that's on a rise today, right? They right. just keep going up. And, right. and, and, and the other thing is spending people spending all this money on supplementation. That's probably really not absorbing for them if their gut is not in balance. So exactly. probably, probably best to start with the gut and get it optimized and then work on other things. We need doctors like you who get it. Um, I can't give any advice to anybody, but you can, and you know that healing the gut is the most important thing you can do for your health. Uh, you know, cancer's an epidemic. Where's that coming from? I don't know, but a body that's filled with sludge, putrid sludge and poisons and chemicals, not a good environment to, um, uh, prevent cancer. So now, like you said, people are taking charge of their health and they're taking charge of their guts because they don't know what else to do. And the great thing about living in today's world is that we can self-educate through books. I hope through the books that I write, through the internet, 
you can um, learn so much on the internet by comparing information and right. finding doctors who understand the new reality of today's new and damaged world, but it's not impossible to navigate through it and live a healthy life. I'm, I'm one of them. My husband is one of them. All my family are all on the same regimen. And um, it's, it's a remarkable thing to have such health all around us. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing with us today. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go on this. And Rusty, like I said, you're going on it with me. We're gonna do it for 30 days. I mean, that's okay. Simple, right? We can do it. So. Get back to me after you've done the 30 days. I'm dying to know how it works for you. I know it will. I will. Well, I've got a big mouth, so I'll share it with everyone. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> well, you're I enjoyed talking with you, Nisha and Rusty. Thank you so much for uh, enabling us. And it's right there where we lost everybody on Zoom and the end. So I didn't want it to be that abrupt. I wanted to remind you to go and get your gut renew. As you can tell, this one is almost empty. I've had to take most of this. I got another bag here. And uh, it's great stuff and it really works. And it really helps your gut. And uh, Nisha is uh, working with Suzanne to actually do something special with this at, her, at the clinics at One Peak Medical. So uh, we'll keep you posted on that. And then the other thing that is uh, pretty awesome is this immune support from Suzanne. And by the way, I uh, did not get this free, full retail price. Uh, we do appreciate you and uh, appreciate Suzanne and appreciate Nisha, mostly you. If you would please hit the subscribe button, share this show. I mean, Suzanne Summers, who doesn't love Suzanne Summers? So share this with all your friends. Next week won't be so wonky. And again, I really want to thank Suzanne and Nisha for putting up with it and for you sitting through the technical issues. It was a great show, but I just wanted to keep you up to date what's going on until next time i sure appreciate you personally my name is rusty humphreys and for nisha jackson and suzanne summers this is the nisha jackson show mm -hmm.